quarters. CMDF, Combined Miniature Defense Force. Project Fantastic Voyage. Process Miniaturization. Authority, top secret, highest clearance. Team, Jonathan Kidd, Commander. Guru, Master of Mysterious Powers. Erica Lane, Doctor, Biologist. Busby Birdwell, Scientist, Inventor, Builder of the Voyager. Mission, in their miniaturized form, to combat the unseen, unsuspected enemies of freedom. Time limit, 12 hours. Ready to try that new test pattern, Harry? I guess so. Get ready to calm down. to miniaturize. And remember, stay on course. If anyone found out about that top secret equipment you're testing, headquarters would be very unhappy. 20 seconds. Process on. 15. Stop process. 10. Radio beam on. And don't forget what I said. No side trips. 5 seconds. 2, 1, 0. What's going on? What's going on? Ouch! Something's broken the beam. Pull it up, Busby! I can't! Hang on! I got it now! Oh, that was too close. Hey, look out there! Gosh, what kind of crazy place have we got ourselves into this time? Capture us? Oh, I doubt it. It's probably very easily explainable. There is something written on that window. I see it. Isuo Yibo Spokaj. Iso Yibo. I am going nuts. <laughs> no, you're just reading backwards. It says Jacob's Hobby House. We're in a hobby shop. You mean with games and puzzles and things? Yep, and electric trains, too. Gee, look at that. A super cheap. See how it's built? There's a... a... Perhaps you could play with it in your spare time, Mr. Birdwell. Oh, yeah? Guru's right. Let's get out of here before Professor Carter bites all his fingernails off. Say, isn't that train awfully close? Don't worry. Oh, no. We're on the tracks. Get moving, Busby. Yes, sir. Casey Birdwell! Bird brain would be more like it. Take her up, Busby, and stop fooling around. Uh, yes, sir. Busby! I can't! It won't budge! And I'm not fooling! Look out! It'll never raise in time! That is funny. The gate up before I push the button. Who's that? It must be Jacob. Too bad he isn't Joshua. Then maybe he could stop this thing. Hey, what happened? We're in a tunnel, I hope. There's the train yards. At least we can get off this track. End of the line. Everybody off. Come on. Let's inspect the damage. Let's me see. 
I think I changed tricks. Yeah. Yeah. On the Rock Island Line's a road to fight! Break it, Busby, quick! With what, my feet? Bail out! Busby, you eject! Hurry! in my shop. <laughs> Boy, what a mess. I hope I'm not the one who has to explain to Professor Carter. Are you all right, Guru? Now, where's Busby? I, I thought he landed somewhere around... <laughs> there. Very funny, I'm sure. Just tell Kid to get me out of here. Isn't he with you? No, I didn't even see him bail out. And odd. I don't see his parachute anywhere. Jonathan, Jonathan, come in. Where are you? Come in, Jonathan, please, come in. Jonathan, where are you? Kid, Erica, Busby, and someone, come in. Where were they last reported, Carter? Directly over the city of Kensington, sir. There was some sort of atmospheric disturbance in the beam room. They must have crashed. Somewhere down there. We couldn't find them in eight years, let alone eight hours. They'll have to make it back on their own, if they can. Oh, what happened? Where am I now? A football field? Oh, I get it. <laughs> I must have fallen on an electric football game. Oh, that's a good thing this ground is cardboard. <laughs> What's going on now? Hey, I don't want... Uh-oh, just call me Gail Sayers. Must have been Deacon Jones. Hey, wait a second. Now hold it, I... Here we go again. Ooh, get that bum out of there. Uh-oh, look. I think he's noticed something. Stop, I quit. Find somebody else. Oh, no. Got to get out of this. Maybe... Oh, one more tackle like that and my career would have been over. Now the football game is on. Maybe something is wrong with the electricity today. He'll find Jonathan. We've got to divert him. Perhaps I can do so, Miss Lane. Well, hurry up about it. He's almost there. As you wish. What's that? Guru, I'll, I'll... Hey! Stop this thing, Guru! Hey! Ah, now even the dolls by themselves are walking. Oh, there is something funny today going on. Very funny! I have often thought Mr. Birdwell should be shaken strongly now and then. Jonathan, come in. I'm here, Erica. At least part of me, anyway. You've got to get away from there, right now. 
Get over behind those boxes and stay out of sight. Right. See you later. Hmm. I am beginning to think pixies that really are in my shop. <laughs> Oh, I've been getting sleepy. I think I take nap now. It's about time. Busby, are you all right? Me? I'm fine. He looks fine, all right. And if we don't find a way out of here soon, we won't look much better. It was, unfortunately, necessary, Mr. Budwell. Man, I feel like a human milkshake. Where's Kid? Over there, on that table. Hey, Kid, why don't you come over here? We're having all kinds of fun. What would you like him to do, fly? That's not such a bad idea, Erica. Model planes? Do you think they work? Hmm, well, they got motors. I'll be right down. In an airplane, I hope. Uh, I'll never laugh at mountain climbers again. Let's see now. This looks good. Good work, Busby. Wow, all the equipment. Just call me Busby Von Birdwell. Up in the air. Just take a look around, Busby. We've got to locate the Voyager. Down there? What's that? I can't tell. Take her down. That's it, all right. Can you fix it? Not without the tools. The hull smashed in. I was afraid of that. Well, we'd better land. No telling how much gas we're carrying. Here they come. What's that? Oh, no. Not again. Busy stars. <laughs> now by themselves the airplanes are flying. <laughs> well, we shall see. You know, I got a feeling something terrible is about to happen. <laughs> Huh? Well, if you can't beat them, join them, I always say. Four pixies coming up, Jacob. Four what? Pixies. Listen closely. There's only one way out of here. We've got to get him to fix the Voyager. So we've got to make him believe we really are pixies. Pixies? Right. Mischievous little pixies. So get to work. You go that way, Busby, and be mischievous. He's jumped his tracks. Now I've heard everything. Well, Guru, let's get to work. Mischievous, huh? Well, here goes. <laughs> now, what is the... My turn. Sorry about this, Jacob. Oh, no. Not the giant puzzle. It's been taking me six weeks to put it together. <laughs> No, it's not possible. Ah. Ah. The pixies, the pixies been here for real. Great, you and your pixie. 
please. Now what? I don't know. But we better think of something, and soon. Look at the time. There are only four hours left. Well, Mastermind, what do we do now? I don't know. But I sure wouldn't like to see their faces at headquarters when they hear the top secret Voyager is trapped at the corner of 4th and Main. Neither would I. This is ridiculous. That's what it is. Look, he's coming back. Mr. Pixie, you are still here, huh? Come, talk to Uncle Jacob. We've still got a chance. Yeah, now all we need is a pixie to talk to him. That's just what I was thinking, Busby. What do you... Oh, no. Oh, no, not me. Come on, Busby. You'd be a perfect pixie. Oh, no, I said. Guru? Uh, oh, now what? You've got to get his attention. There, that magnifying glass. Get behind it. Yes, sir. Can you hear me, Mr. Pixie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not deaf, you know. Where are you? Why doesn't he look over there? Busby, we're running out of time. You'll have to attract him somehow. Well, what do you want me to do, dance? Exactly, dance, like a pixie. What? I wouldn't. That's an order, Busby. Yes, sir. <laughs> What is that I hear? Little bell? Ah, a pixie. I have found a pixie. <laughs> so you want to dance, do you? It's not funny. Busby, hold up. Stop. <laughs> what, huh? Yow! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, little pixie. <laughs> what do we do now? Hold on. I'll ask the head elf. Well, kid? Direct him to the Voyager. Over there! <laughs> you want to play Indians, huh? No, go over there. Fix something. You want to play drums, huh? No, fix Flying machine. Ah, you want to play birds? <laughs> no, no, no! Perhaps I can assist, Mr. Birdwell. <sighs> that reflection, it means something. Maybe it means I should the window close. No! No, maybe I should look where it is going. Yes! No. Yes. Yes. A fairy ship? Fairy ship? And all broken up. Oh, poor little pixies. You want I should help you fix your fairy ship, little pixie, huh? Yeah! You help fix my fairy ship. And if you call it that once more, I'll fix you! How's it coming, Busby? Almost done. It wasn't as bad as it looked. And this guy's a darn good mechanic. Did you say something, little pixie? I said, no, oh, never mind. There, it's finished. Will it work? You doubt the word of a pixie? Naturally it will. Thanks, Jacob. All fixed, little pixie. Yes. Now, let me go. Uh, uh, push you on. Okay. <laughs> No! No! Stop! Come on, Busby! Get control! Oh, he caught it. Hurry before he decides to help again. Goodbye, little pixie. So long, Jacob. He was a nice man. Yes, he was. And I think we should clean up before we leave, don't you, Guru? Of course, Mr. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pixie. <laughs> Ooh no one is sure going to believe this. Oh. He's not the only one no one's going to believe. You said it, especially for Busby. Why especially me? Because we forgot to pick up your uniform. What? You mean I 
have to go back like this? I'm afraid so. But don't worry, they'll never be able to tell the difference. 